Um, crew, you're gonna, you're gonna have a, a tour of Thailand, is that what I've... Yes, actually, we've already started our campaign. Uh, we've been wanting to do this for several years. Muay Thai Institute Texas has been around for about seven years now, mm -hmm. going on eight. And uh, I, in the past, I've taken students to Thailand, but uh, my students namely, but we'd like to open this up to the, the general public, members of the Muay Thai Alliance of Texas, uh, even non-members, mm -hmm. uh, so that they can get a first-hand look as to what it's like to train for real in Thailand um, and, and get that, that cultural experience and, and, and uh, historical background as well. It's all for, for a good benefit. So it benefits you, doesn't benefit us. Uh, we don't make any money off of that. We, what I want to do is provide an outlet for uh, valley fighters and fighters in Texas in general to be able to go to Thailand and experience this firsthand. Because of course it's a whole different experience than, than what we get here in the United States. Mm -hmm. But if you do want a taste of it, you can come visit you here. Right? Exactly. I train everybody just like Thailand. These guys here that are going to Thailand, you know, they'll fit right in. Mm. Easy. In terms of language, in terms of custom culture. Uh, and you know, even though they don't speak fluent Thai, they'll at least be able to meet the instructor halfway. Uh, this will be taking place over at MTI Rangsit, Rangsit Stadium in Bangkok. Uh, they'll be in the hands of former champions as well, uh, Lumpini and Ratchadamnan Stadium champions. You know, um, I, I know that uh, th that to be true because um, when I spoke to you after you came back from Thailand the last time with Roel, uh, and even over there you were sending me updates as how he was doing, mm -hmm. and you said he pretty much fit in like a glove over there. Coming, of course, there was a little bit of a barrier, but he was he fit in pretty well. You also sent me uh, some footage of him training with with uh, with Kun Apide Sit Irun. We got uh, try to say that five times fast. <laughs> we got we got very good uh, feedback from uh, Kun Apide, and uh, you know he actually, even though he's with the Fairtex camp right now, you know he's he's a living legend and he's known really well known across the world and in Thailand. Uh, Roel actually got to train under him uh, in preparation for the uh, for the uh, tournament, but uh, some of my uh, fellow instructors and masters over in, in at Rangsit, they they were actually uh, opponents of his. Wow! Uh, one of them uh, being uh, Master Ravi, the he, he's known uh, as the master of the elbow, and uh, they had several wars fought out, and you know. I listen to both sides, and I, all I can do is smile because, you know, <laughs> they're still, now they're in their 60s and whatnot, and they're still helping, you know, grow Muay Thai. That's awesome. And if you guys want to see some footage on that, uh, we have some footage of Roel training with him, and uh, it's also there at Valetudo.com or on YouTube. Just search Valetudo. Um, a couple of months back, we had a Texas Border Showdown in Edinburgh. Uh, Manny and I have talked about it a million times. Awesome show. We had a great time great fights when can we see more when and where can we see more of this well we just finished uh, renewing uh, you know putting uh, our renewal for for our license to continue on in the, as an uh, amateur combatter sports association uh, the Muay Thai Alliance isn't going anywhere um, we're looking at planning some shows these are all of course pending you know TDLR approval um, but we're planning border showdown too mm -hmm. and uh, we're obviously in demand up in Del Rio, we're in demand over in Corpus, in in in, uh, in Austin, in Dallas. Uh, Urban uprising that has been in the works now for a while, uh, but we just want to make sure that we have you know all of our nuts and bolts you know screwed on tightly, uh, so that you know the show is seamless. Um, I'm looking hopefully uh, with the approval of the TDLR to have Border Showdown two in McAllen sometime in November. Uh, so. Once again, that's that's a thing to look forward to. We've been getting all sorts of uh, emails and calls, you know, asking us when's the next one. You know, we even got uh, some feedback from Upstate that it was probably the most traditional show that they've ever seen and one of the most exciting shows that they've been a part of. Well, I was going to say, not only traditional, uh, Manny and I, we've been to several multi, I mean, uh, uh, MMA events, mm -hmm. boxing shows. Um, this is the first traditional Muay show we went to. And uh, I have to say, it was probably the most exciting show that we've been to. The fights were great, man. Um, even though they were amateur, of amateur status, some guys wore shin. Well, can you? Just, I mean, some guys wore shin pads. Some guys wore elbow pads mm -hmm. because of his amateur status. But I mean, these guys were throwing punches, kicks, knees, elbows. It was awesome. Good time. So when we have more information on it, I know Crew's gonna get us the information. We'll have it on ValueTutor.com so you guys check out. Um, 
Anything else you'd like to say, crew? You know, some maybe some somebody wants to come and visit you. Where can they get in touch with you? Definitely. You can visit us online at uh, mtinstitutetx.com. That's for the Muay Thai Institute, uh, the school website. Uh, for our organization, you can go to mtalliancetx.com. That's Muay Thai Alliance of Texas. Uh, in order to participate, you do need to register and meet all requirements um, prior, yeah, at least 30 days before the fight. Um, just to make sure that we've got all of our requirements met with the state. Um, you know, we, we just invite everybody to come out and, and partake in Muay Thai. We've been, do, we've been at it for about seven years now and we've, we've uh, definitely grown. Uh, the organization has already completed one year of existence. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, we're not going anywhere, we're not stopping. We get calls from Florida, Mississippi, North Carolina, Arkansas. They all want to fight in our events, and uh, we're definitely going to let you know let other states you know partake in this. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Crew Cod. I appreciate it very much. That was another segment of Off the Mat, and uh, you guys keep visiting ValleyTutor.com for more information, not only on Valley Tito, but of course Muay Thai Alliance of Texas. And uh, this is Gabe Gonzalez. We'll see you next time on ValleyTutor.com, and uh, keep respecting the arts.